pretty good. I saw you were out here in your garden, so I took this opportunity to bring this plant over that I'm having some problems with. See if you might be able to give me a hand with it. All right. I noticed the other day when I was watering it that it's all sticky up here on the leaves, and then I looked, and on the table where it was sitting, it was all sticky all around. Do you know what might be the problem? Well, let me take a look here, but that okay. does sound suspicious. Oh, yeah, here they are. What you've got here is scale. Mm -hmm. You can see a little bit here. Ooh, yeah. And some, got one hiding down in here. Uh-huh. And I can see some down in the sides of the stems. Oh, yeah. Here also. Uh-huh. And that's an insect that'll eventually suck the juice out of your plant and kill it. Gross. So, what can we do about it? Well, we need to kill it first. Okay. <laughs> And this plant's really doing wonderfully. It's almost as tall as us now. I know. Can you believe it? From the little sprout that it was last time we were looking at it together. I know. This is so great. Mm -hmm. It's done beautifully. I left it outside on the patio for the summer, like you had suggested. Mm -hmm. And then when it started cooling off, I brought it in. And I've had it in my dining room over in the corner where it's getting some indirect light. Oh, that's great. Now, have you noticed that it likes to grow towards the window? Oh, yes. I have to twirl it, it constantly because <laughs> it keeps listing towards the sliding glass doors there. So every time I water it, I give it a little turn so it'll try to keep itself evened out a little bit. Oh, that's great. That's perfect. That phenomenon is called phototropism, hmm. and a lot of plants do that. It's just their nature to want to go for the light. You sure. really can't blame them for that. No, <laughs> it seems perfectly reasonable thing for a plant to do. <laughs> now, this plant did have a scale problem. Mm -hmm. It yeah. did. So what's been happening since you've taken it home? Well, after we go. gave it that good washing, I have continually checked the undersides of the leaves and the stems, like you showed me, and I haven't had any problem with it. It has stayed nice and clean. You know, it really looks great. I don't see one scale on it. No, I have That's been fabulous. examining it thoroughly. Great. Mm -hmm. And look, it's even got this nice little baby shoot coming oh, up it down sure here. Does. Doesn't that well, look this great? Is, this is healthy. You must be watering it just right, too. Mm -hmm. It looks like, it just looks like a plant that's been watered mm -hmm. correctly. I've been letting it dry about an inch down, like Perfect. you said, before I Perfect. give it a good watering. It's a little moist today, but it looks quite happy. Mm -hmm. And I also suspect that you may miss these leaves, and I'll tell you why in a minute, but do you do that? Yes, I do. I do. I give it a good spritzing. I like to see it when they're nice and clean, and that helps to keep them clean, so I've been giving a good spritzing all around. Right, they also like that little bit of extra humidity, which can be difficult to get in the house. Oh, definitely. Although oftentimes, when people have Diefenbachia, that they've grown themselves and they've been in the house for quite a while, their nature seems to be to end up with all their leaves right at the top. Mm -hmm. But this one's very nice and full, almost all the way up and down. And I suspect that's from bisting the leaves and good watering habits. Oh. So I think you've done great. Well, thank you.